Hi, it's Ulti Carlson here, and once again, it's back to the world of Jerry Anderson and Super Mario Nations. We're taking a look at another network entertainment release from the UK of another one of Anderson's shows, Captain Scarlet and the Mysterons. I'm going to unbox this release and share my opinions. Now, like I said before, the company network has been reissuing a lot of Jerry Anderson stuff. I've heard that company might actually be going out of business, so if you want to get any of these releases, you might want to act now. Nice cover art there of our hero and supporting cast. Here's the back cover. We have episode guides inside the sleeve there, also on the other side. And the discs all have the you know, Captain Scarlet motif on them. Those actually look very cool. And I'll read the description of the show as follows from the back. One of Jerry Anderson's best-loved series, Captain Scarlet and the Mysterons, brought a new level of realism and sophistication to Century 21's endlessly popular Super Mario Nation productions. To mark its 50th anniversary, the series has been remastered in HD from the original 35mm film elements for this Blu-ray edition. It has never looked better. The year is 2068. After a misunderstanding leading to an attack on their Martian city, the Mysterons declare war on the inhabitants of Earth. Range against this devastatingly powerful enemy is Spectrum, a worldwide security organization. Its leading operative, Captain Scarlet. Having been captured and replicated by the Mysterons, but breaking free of their control, he now possesses extraordinary powers that make him Spectrum's most powerful agent in the fight to save humanity. If you couldn't already tell from all my videos on here, I love the works of Jerry Anderson. This guy was absolutely a visionary in England in the 60s when it came to children's entertainment, and these Super Mario Nation shows were just state-of-the-art works for their time. I mean, this is long before the days of CG and computers and so forth, but Anderson used what he had to make very memorable looking shows, and Captain Scarlet marked two major changes from earlier Super Mario Nation productions. First and foremost, the style of marionette was completely changed. The puppets used here have much more realistic looking features and proportions, which kind of fits the mood of the show. Speaking of that, the other major change was that this was a much less humorous, much darker show. I mean, in the first episode, humanity literally unintentionally wages war on the Martians by attacking their compound, thinking that they pose a threat. And what follows, of course, is the rest of the series and a heated battle between two colliding forces. It is an excellent show. I admittedly have not watched every single episode in this set yet, but I do like the change in tone and how it isn't just another, you know, more comedic, goofy, lighthearted Anderson fare. The darker tone, in this fan's opinion, is actually quite appreciated. I wouldn't say it's quite as much fun as some of the earlier shows, but for what it is, this is a fantastic series that's absolutely worth revisiting. Captain Scarlet, like many other Jerry Anderson shows that have been put out by Network, got the remastered treatment, and this package looks very good. I never saw Captain Scarlet on DVD, so I can't say how much of an improvement this is over those discs, but this is a solid-looking title. Maybe not quite as sharp or colorful as some of the earlier ones, but a lot of that might just be due to the inherent nature of the source material and, of course, the darker tone that they took on here anyhow. Unfortunately, there are no bonus features in this set. A lot of the Jerry Anderson shows got reissues in these packages and deluxe ones, and the larger packages have an extra bonus features disc as well as some physical swag as well. I don't know if there was a larger box like that for Captain Scarlet or not. Comment down below if you know the answer to that. But either way, with the show having its signature tone and the remastering on the Blu-ray discs, this is definitely worth watching and could be one of Jerry Anderson's greatest shows. It's just a shame that it kind of got lost in the scuffle and lives in the shadow of Thunderbirds because I think this show is every bit as powerful. Have you picked up this Blu-ray release of Captain Scarlet yet? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, let me know what your favorite Jerry Anderson show is. And be sure you like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe because I'm always posting new videos. I'm T.O.T. Carlson. See you next time.